Hey everyone, I'm going to sh to this tutorial I'm going to show you how to force someone on your own network to download your file or your key logger or your rat or whatever you want them to download and run. Uh there's plenty of tutorials on YouTube if you're interested in creating your own t key logger. Uh, I'd suggest going over to hackforums.net and looking under the key logger section or you can just go to YouTube and type in uh, how to set up Project Neptune and learn how to set up your own keylogger. Pretty sure you've seen stuff on that. But in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make someone on the network actually download it. And this is um, usually very successful. So we're going to need some few. Th we're going to need a few things. Let's go to Firefox. Um, I will have the link in the description to download this file. Uh, that's the link right there. I'll have a link in the description, so you're going to want to download this. So download that. I already have it over here. So let's open up my home folder, and it is fake update dots. Hold up. Let me just do this the easy way. You can go to your terminal and type in um, unzip, and then the name of the file, which in my case is fake update dot zip. Uh, replacing fake update files. Um, the reason why it's saying this for me is because I already have, <coughs> I already have stuff in my home folder that has this. So I'm just gonna say yes, and yes, yes to all because I need to replace it. Hold up, capital A. There you go. I'm gonna change directory into fake update. So now these are my fake update files. Uh, we're gonna need to move this entire folder to this over this directory over here. I will show you. So we have over here. Let's see, fake update. This is my folder right here. Fake update. All right, that's my folder. Let me um, exit out of the terminal. We're gonna copy this. Go to file system. Uh, var and www. Now over here, this is um. You don't need to worry about this. This is. The leftovers are all of all my Java applet attacks, so <laughs> don't worry about that. Um, paste. Actually, I forgot to do one thing. Uh, okay, so when you first come here, you're gonna have this thing said that says um, index.html. Index.html. Get rid of it. Throw it in the trash can. Um, when you paste it in here, you wanna copy this and then come back here and paste it like that. So it's like this. And then you can just get rid of this folder. Uh, okay, now you got the stuff. Um, hold up. Now you got the stuff um, in your Apache directory, and we're gonna we're almost ready to start the attack. Okay, now what we need to do is we're gonna need to do a technique that you might be familiar with. It's called DNS spoofing. I gotta teach you how to set that up again. So uh, if you don't have EaterCap, like again, I'll tell you. Um, hold up, you won't be able to see this. Uh, open terminal tutorial. There you go. Now that's nice and big. Okay. apt get install eater cap. And that will do the trick for you. Already the newest version for me. Excellent. Now let's um change directory to actually no. G E edit G edit user local share eater cap eater dot DNS. Okay, now we're going to edit it like again. You want to scroll all the way down to the bottom. You see you want to type a asterisk A19. Uh, this is your IP address that gets entered right here, what I'm going to type in now. Uh, it's not hard to figure out your own IP address. I hope you can do that on your own. 192.168.1. Hold on, what's my IP address again? <laughs> you just have to go to this um, WeCD thing, and then mine says 192.168.1. 199. Uh, this you can find that under internet and right here. So 199. All right, we're good to set up on this. Click save and exit. And now you can start your DNS attack. You want to know the IP address of your victim. So like I said, you can do that by doing nmap sn and your IP address of your gateway. And like I said before, if you don't know the IP address of your gateway, you can go to uh, click route and your gateway is right here um, don't worry about the one that says this one because I'm technically connected to two 
<laughs> technically connected to like two uh, networks right now because I have two wireless interfaces, but yours will only show one. So gateway 192.168.0.1. Okay, and then slash 24 for a class C network. Enter. All right, these are all my stuff. The th computer is on my network. The pr one I'm particularly interested in is 192.168.0.4, and that's the one I'm going to be demonstrating on. So, if you don't know the um, IP address of your victim computer, all you have to do is just go to the computer and type in CMD, but you and then type IP config. Uh, you can't do that though if you're trying to do an attack, so you'll just have to find out which one you want to do. Okay. Um, we're ready to start the EaterCap attack. EaterCap-T-I.WLAN1. Um, like I said before in my other um, backtrack video, I have WLAN1 because that's the name of my external uh, uh, network interface card. Yours will probably be WLAN0, but I'll show you how to do that again. If config, WLAN0 is my internal laptop adapter. WLAN1 is um, my actual external one. This is the one that I'm using. So you can find that out. WLAN 1, Q for quiet mode, M for the kind of attack, ARP, uh, remote, gateway IP address goes here, victim IP address goes here, um, DNS spoof, watch that underscore, okay, enter. Cool. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Why does it say only one host? All right, don't worry, hold up. I gotta fix something here because apparently my computer is complaining. All right, let me fix something real quick and we'll get back on track. I think the reason is because I'm connected to two networks at once, and that's not cool. That's not cool. Refresh. All right, disconnect all. Okay, preferences. Back to WLAN 1. Sorry about this. Um, shouldn't take too long. Okay, here we are. So let's try doing Nmap again just to make sure everything's going alright. Ping scan my entire network, find out which computers are on it, and we will retry the Eater Cap. You sh when you do this, you should probably have no problems at all. I'm just running into a little bit of a difficulty, so. Sorry about that. All right, my computer's up. Let's copy this one. Okay, I'm just gonna Control C. All right, Eater Cap T I W L A N one Q M R Remote. Actually, just in case I entered it wrong. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Two hosts added to the host list. Now it's working. Now I'm getting stuff DNS spoofed. Thank God. Okay. <laughs> We're going to minimize this. And then now, pay attention to my mouse here. We're going to go to Applications, Backtrack, Services, HTTPD, Apache Start. Wait for this to finish. Cool. We're ready. So now, this is everything that's... Um, Oh shit. Okay, no, actually we're not ready. <laughs> I have to first show you some something um first got to show you something. It's okay, we got time. All right, we're going to go to file system in the directory VAR www. Let's you see this index.html. I'm going to show you what the fake update page looks like. Let's uh right click this, open with Firefox web browser. Now, this is the fake update page that um your uh, what do you call it? Your victim will see it. You have to admit, this is pretty darn convincing. Um, you look through it, and it's like, wow, this looks pretty legit. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, the download button is right here, where you can download the critical update.exe. You see right here where it says, like, date published 5-9-2007, and download size 624, and the version. Uh, that's kind of that's inconvenient, because your person is going to be like, well, what the hell? It's like... It's 2012, but we can fix that. So let's exit out. Let me actually let's keep this up right here, and let's um 
let's edit this index.html file. So let's open with g edit text editor. All right, now we got this HTML code here, and this is um looks kind of intimidating at first, but we can we can go through this. Just so all you got to do is just do a control F, and I want you want probably want to change the date published. So the day you're going to do this attack, you want to select the date it is today. So let's copy and paste this five nine two thousand seven, and can copy it into the find find. Hold up. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Five nine two thousand seven. Copy. Paste. Okay. Make sure you get just get rid of that stuff. Okay. Five nine two thousand seven. Find. There. See now it found the actual text um right here. So we're going to change this to today's date, which is fifth one fifteen twenty twelve. That will make it more believable. There's another thing you want to do, and that's the um download size. So check the size of your file. And see if it's um see what the size is. We're gonna paste. We're gonna look for 624 kilobytes. It's right there. So we're gonna change this. Let's say my file is like um um 1,500 kilobytes. You just do this. KB. Cool. Another thing is that you might want to change is um the version. Uh, usually if we're gonna make a keylogger or the version or whatever you might want to change this but this is this really isn't too important if you want to change it you can find it like right here where it says quick version quick info value 100 and you change it to whatever you want so we did the minimum what we need to do I would save this exit and then you can exit out of this thing oh and another thing is um the file that you want them to download, you put it in here, and you rename. You can you can delete this file right here that says criticalupdate.exe. You can delete it, but when you put your keylogger in here, you want to um rename it exactly to this criticalupdate.exe. Make sure the first C of critical is capitalized. Make sure the first U of update is capitalized. And then once you do that, now you are ready to go. Let's just see if the changes took place with my index.html document by opening it up in Firefox web browser. Now, as you can see, the changes have taken place. Download size has changed to 1500 kilobytes, and the date published has changed to 1-15-2012. Okay, we're going to exit out of this. Now, we are ready to do our little DNS spoofing attack. And don't worry about this. This is just some um, DNS requests that all computers typically make. So, now I'm going to be on the com my victim computer, and I'm going to visit a website. And it's going to be redirected um, to my malicious fake update site beautiful fake update site alright let's go to youtube.com we all love youtube there you go see so youtube.com oh my gosh I have my windows critical update thing right in front of me here I'm going to download and then now it's asking me if I want to run or save this file, criticalupdate.exe, from youtube.com. And then, hey, that's how they download it. They go to any other website, then they go to any other website, they'll be redirected back to us. Um, well, let's try facebook.com. No, I don't like Facebook. <sighs> Myspace.com. How about it? Got the same old Windows critical update thing. So we're good. So that's the tutorial. Just learn how to DNS spoof, and once they download it, you can stop the DNS spoofing. Um, I, I would just leave it on a little bit and see if they visited the websites or not, and then they wait like a, you know, 30 seconds or something. Then go ahead, quit by pressing Q, and that would stop it. So that's the tutorial. Um, you might run into some problems. I don't know if you will or not, but. Like, sometimes I run into a problem where the person can't see the images. Now, the images are all like in this the little thing right here. And usually, I, if they can't see the images, uh, I have to go ahead and search that out because I have to figure out why they can't see the images. But other than that, I mean, it should work. It really should work. I've done this before and it everything should be okay. Um, yeah, that's a tutorial. If you need any help, yeah, I guess shoot me a PM, and then I'll try to, I will try to uh, get back to you as soon as I can. Um, <clears throat> okay, 
So hope that works for you guys. See you next time.